With TaskWeaver UI, you have an user interface to send your prompt to TaskWeaver. In the UI, you can see the planning steps and the communication between the planner and the code interpreter to get the answer. It is much user-friendlier than the command line and the installation is straightforward. First, you clone the TaskWeaver repository and change to the new folder. From inside the folder, you start Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, open the requirements.txt. In requirements.txt, we scroll down and make sure that chainlit is listed in the file. Otherwise, we have to install it separately using pip, as chainlit is needed for the UI to work. The next step is to open the terminal and create a virtual environment. After creating the virtual environment, we activate it. Make sure the name of the virtual environment appears before the prompt. The next step is to install the requirements. This takes some while. After all of the packages are installed, the prompt comes back and we can clear the screen and close the terminal and the requirements.txt. Next, we expand the project folder and open taskweaver-config.json. In this config file, we put our OpenAI API key and save and close. I will revoke the API key before uploading the video. So make sure you put your own API key. Now we navigate to Taskweaver UI. It is located in Playground and inside Playground in the UI subfolder. We run Taskweaver UI by typing chainlit run app.py. Taskweaver UI runs on localhost port 8000. When we navigate to localhost port 8000, we see the UI and can enter our prompt. Here, for example, we can enter, is the current year a leap year? Taskweaver start processing our query and we can see it in action when we change to the terminal. After some planning and execution, we see the result in the UI. It took three steps and we can expand the steps and explore further how Taskweaver solved the problem. The planner initiated a plan and sent a prompt to the code interpreter. The code interpreter generated code and executed the code and informed the planner about the successful execution of the code. And the planner gave back the answer to us that 2023 is not a leap year. We can continue the conversation as it remembers the context and ask, when is the next leap year? And once again, the steps repeat and there is a planning stage and some communication between the task weaver components till we get our answer that the next leap year is 2024. As with the last answer, we can expand the steps and see what happened under the hood. Task weaver UI is in early stages. So if you need more information, you can navigate to the GitHub pages of Taskweaver and check the UI in the Playground slash UI folder. Good luck using the UI to communicate with Taskweaver.